I've just watched a video by Simon Wu on the Foundry forums where he demonstrates the use of a uh, lattice in Modo 701. Now Modo does not yet have lattices, but uh, through the use of deformers you can actually set up a lattice yourself like I have done in this scene. I have a cone geometry and I have several locators and when I move the locators you see I can deform my cone just like I would do with a lattice. Now Simon has supplied the original uh, scene file on the Foundry forums but he did not explain how to actually set it up yourself so I have tested this and maybe and I thought that maybe I could show you how to do it so I'm going to press Control N to go to a new scene go to my model quad tab press the zero key I'm going to add a cube and also going to add a locator turn on my snapping options set them to vertex press the W key to move my locator and it's up there right now and I'm going to move it to a vertex I'm also going to give it a custom display locator shape so custom replace sphere not solid and maybe 50 millimeter radius should be enough okay so now I have a cube and a locator I'm going to create a second locator so I'm going to right click and say duplicate press the W key and move that over to the other verts. I'm not going to create all the locators for all the verts. When you know how to create them for one, you can do it for all of them. So now back to my setup tab. I'm going to setup mode. I'm going to drag my locators into my schematic view. I'm going to drag my mesh item into my schematic view. Now Right now I don't have any deformers. I have two effectors or two locators that can act as an effector so I still need a general influence so I'm going to my deformers tab add new deform item influences general influence go to my deformers tab right click duplicate and with these two general influences selected I'm going to drag them into my schematic view like that I can already plug this in so now I have two deformers so this locator being the effector for this deformer will dictate how the deformer will operate but I still have to dictate how uh, what actually is going to be uh, deformed and that I'm going to do by the use of a fall of deformer so when I go over here at fall of deformer radial fall off you see now a radial fall off has been added so I'm going to drag that one into my schematic view and as you can see this one has automatically be been plugged into my mesh and that is not what I want I'm going to unplug it and I'm actually going to plug it into my general influence like that in order to, cr to create my so-called lattice and with this one selected I could right click and say duplicate and of course because I've made the duplicates now it's been plugged into my first general influence I'm going to delete that no uh, that's connection and plug this one into my second deformer so I'm going to reorganize for better view like that and now I can bind them to my mesh just like that but of course I do not want two radio falloffs at the same position so I'm going to choose my ra first radio falloff and then control click my locator and into setup and say item position the same thing for my second radio falloff I select it in the schematic view then control click on my locator and say item position and now they are actually at the positions of the locators and now I can go out of setup mode and when I select my locator and move that around you see it's deforming my cube and you say okay 
I was informing my cube, what if I want to use other geometry? Well, press the N key for a new item layer. I'm going to my items. You see, I have now an empty mesh layer. Going to my model tab and, for instance, create a cylinder. When I drag now this mesh item into here and back to my setup mode and deconnect these connections and plug them into my cylinder mesh back out of setup and I'm going to hide my cube for now select a locator move that around so we see now my cylinder is being deformed just like in this scene where I have actually added eight locators in this exact same way as I've demonstrated and now I have kind of a lattice of course this is not the same functionality as real lattices because it actually is kind of a bit of work to set all of this up if you want even more divisions then you have to add more locators more radial fall off so a more complicated lattice will require actually more work just like that the only thing I've wanted to add is in the deformers list right now you see these transforms are not in a normalizing folder you don't have to put them in but you could so when you select your transforms right click and say normalize now they are being normalized so it will result in a different behavior and of course in this scene not all of the vertices are being influenced because I've added only two radial uh, two deformers with with radial falloffs in my original scene I have done that for all the so-called vertices on the cube and when I go to deformers you see here they are in the normalizing folder and I could drag them out it all depends on what you want to do the result will be different of course of how the deformation will happen so you can put them in a normalizing folder or not depending on what you might want to do so I hope I've demonstrated here how you can create your own lattices in Modo 601 and Modo 701 this was Dominic, bye for now